it's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. Um, not only does it hurt the students who are currently at university, but it hurts the future of postgraduate students because we are the ones who are going to be uh, disadvantaged by the cuts that are being uh, made on tertiary education now. Uh, we're going to have to look for a job in this industry that's now had $2.8 billion cut out of it. Um, also, a lot of the cuts are coming from, are coming from students. The occasion of this round of cuts to public funding for universities is a proposal to implement the Gonski reforms to school funding. Some of you will know this story, many of you won't. There is at the moment a scandalously unjust system of public funding for schools in which a very considerable flow of federal government money, that is public sector money, goes to sustain an privileged elite private school system. The Gonski reforms are not a particularly good answer to this problem, they're not a good solution, but they are better than the current system we've got. And that's what Gillard and her mates in the federal government are relying on, that they will get public support for the shift in funding because it is doing something almost everybody needs, knows needs to be done, that is support underprivileged, uh, disadvantaged schools. But in this respect, <clears throat> I have to say, the Labor government is not very different from Liberal governments we have known and Liberal governments of the near future. When they seem to be doing, taking even a step in the right direction, they look around for someone else whom they can get to pay for it. And they don't go to Gina Reinhardt. They don't go to BHP Billiton. They don't go to the coal industry, the iron ore industry. They go to for some other part of the public sector that they think has less political protection or less popularity and try to shave it. So this time they're trying to shave the higher education sector to generate some of the funds for the Gonski reform and they're doing that on the assumption that they can get away with it without political pain. Again, the government's making a mockery of the claims that it has to be interested in investing in the future of the country and the future of the current generation of students in all of those important areas of life that universities contribute to. And I think it's really interesting and telling to compare the $2.8 billion that's been pulled out of federal education funding with the reams of money that are being wasted left, right and centre by this government. Think about the amounts of money being spent on punitive and counterproductive refugee policies. Look at the fiasco of the mining tax. There's no shortage of money in the Australian economy. It's a question of where it's being directed. Universities, public education generally, hospital, all of the things that people really want and need, school education, are the things that the government should be spending money on. Unfortunately, they're so locked into uh, tunnel vision, where it's the owners of corporations who call the, sh call the shots, that there's very little prospect of that happening without a significant degree of protest from the grassroots, which is why I'm very happy to be here today. I think it's a very sad day to see the Labor Party, the, the party that historically actually abolished university fees, now are forcing through some of the biggest, uh, deepest cuts to the university sector um, in history, even you know massively surpassing Howard's horror budget of 1996 with 1.7 billion ripped out of um, education, not only did the Labor government fail to reverse those cuts, now they're coming back after almost three billion more. And I think it, it's also a sad day to see the Labor government that boasts so often about how it's expanded and opened up higher education to students of low socioeconomic background, now ripping out the startup scholarships that actually help those least advantaged students face and you know cope with the, the ever increasing costs of going to university. And it's also a sad day, although, um, you know, unfortunately and only all, you know, too familiar to us now, to see Gillard give Abbott yet another free kick by legitimising such deep and disgraceful cuts that he has now uh, pledged to, to keep in place even while getting rid of the funding to schools that those cuts um, were put in place 
for standing up for free education to stop the cuts to ensure that we get some sanity back with Labor and the Coalition because right now they're on a course that will be so destructive to students at our universities now and to generations to come. We're going to put them all the way! We say cut back! We say cut back! We say cut back! We say cut back! Cut, cut, cut! No bus! No extra bus! No education cuts! No ifs! No bus! No education cuts! No ifs! No bus! No education cuts. No ifs. No buts. 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 No the police state. We have the right to demonstrate. This is not a police state. We have the right to demonstrate. Right.